Coding is a lie. They said learn to code, build, deploy, keep following this formula to one day make millions. Instead, Google, Amazon, and Snap are among the companies continuing to downsize. We're going to continue to see layoffs happen as the future of work has changed. Just announced they were laying off 10 percent of their workforce. Computer science degree won't guarantee you a job anymore. Frustrated and upset, everyone is. Very easy for you to just have these little 10-minute, 15-minute meetings, tell someone that they're fired, completely wreck their whole life. Yes, I'm a software engineer. Yes, I have a degree in computer science. Yes, I've been coding my entire life. And yes, I'm telling you, stop learning to code in 2025. At this age in technology, it's actually a waste learning how to code, but not in the way you think. See, coding isn't dead, but the way we emphasize about learning to code, yeah, no, that no longer exists. The industry has changed. And if you don't adapt to these changes, you're just going to waste years of grinding for absolutely nothing. So in all of this, what exactly changed? What's the new game that's making money without writing a single line of code? To understand this, we have to start at the beginning. Back in the day, coding wasn't just a skill, it was a superpower. Computers were massive, expensive, and basically useless if you didn't know how to manually program them. Yeah, I'm talking about when your grandfather was born, like the 70s, 80s, 90s, when knowing languages like C, assembly, Pascal, felt like they were designed to just torture people. I mean, it still feels like it, but... Anyway, you weren't just coding, you were talking to the machine. So in other words, you had to write everything from scratch. This included memory allocation, CPU cycles, and data structures at a high level. Most of that, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. See, it was a big deal if you could code back then. Even if you could write a basic program, you were a valuable asset. Companies were begging for engineers to work for them. They were throwing money at them. Now, fast forward to the 2000s where coding got easier. Suddenly, languages like Python, JavaScript, and PHP gained popularity because for the first time, you didn't have to manually manage memory or deal with low level systems. You just had to import a library, write a few functions, and boom, you have an app. This was the reinvention of coding with frameworks, libraries, and tools that made coding a piece of cake. And this still meant that learning to code was a superpower, like you were Homelander back then, although you didn't have to build everything from scratch anymore. But then something else happened, the golden era of tech. If you knew how to code, you were basically printing money. This is talking about like 2015 to 2021. You see your dream companies like Facebook, Airbnb, Uber, and Stripe were just startups coming into business. Everyone needed software engineers and everyone wanted to be software engineers. This meant that salaries were crazy high. I remember my high school teacher telling me, man, when you graduate college, you're earning six figures, no doubt. A CS degree basically guaranteed you six figures. You see companies were lined up to hire developers, but then towards 2020 and 2020, 21, everyone caught on. The secret to success was out. Every YouTuber, every bootcamp, every TikToker, every online course star is saying, learn to code. And suddenly the market flooded. Tech jobs that once had 50 applicants now have 5,000. Companies started laying off engineers instead of hiring them. And this is what happens when everyone starts doing the same thing. It, it stops being special. And the worst of all, AI showed up. See, at first AI was a cool assistant. It could help you do your homework. It was like a little cheat code in school, right? It helps fix small issues, start or end stuff for you, but that's all it could do. And now AI is literally doing everything you could do and probably beyond. In fact, it's probably better than you. Tools like Cursor AI, Copilot, Codium aren't just assisting anymore. They are replacing the need to do anything from scratch. So the real question is, if AI can code, what does it mean for you? Now imagine this, you spend months learning Python, JavaScript, React, grinding leak code, doing 500 leak code questions a day to get your dream fang job. But then some random dude who barely knows how to write a for loop builds a SaaS product in two weeks using AI and he's making 30K a month and you're still trying to pass your first tech interview. This may sound absurd, but sadly, this is the reality. Have you heard of Driz GPT? The guy makes like 25 million a year. Now on the bright side, people still believe that you can make money with tech. So I guess that hasn't changed. It's just a matter of how. The skill doesn't lie in coding. It's about knowing how to make use of available tools to build things that are efficient and built in a timely manner. Think about it like this. People used to build houses brick by brick, then came power tools. So we now have machines that build houses in just a matter of days. And the people making money today, they're not the ones laying the bricks. They're the ones using the tools. So if your whole plan is so to learn how to code and get a job, you might be in for a rough and long time, but it's okay. You don't have to panic. I'm here to save you. If you play this right, you can actually win bigger than ever before. But to do that, you have to understand what's actually making money right now. Typing every single line of code manually is such a millennial thing to do. Lucky for us, AI isn't just a tool and 
anymore. It's a developer's assistant, and in many cases, better than most junior developers. Think about it. Would you rather spend three hours debugging a function, or would you let Cursor AI or GitHub Copilot fix it in literally three seconds? See, here's what most people get wrong. They assume that AI replacing manual coding means coding is dead, but that's not true. Coding is still valuable. In fact, it's still one of the most number one skills to learn, but it's not about writing code from scratch anymore. It's about how to use AI to accelerate development. It's a concept called vibe coding, literally using AI tools to help you build. Think of it like this. 20 years ago, if you wanted a website, you had to code everything, the UI, the backend, even the databases. But today you type in a prompt in ChatGPT and boom, your code is ready. Or you can use Bolt or Replit and you get the same result. But what if I told you that you don't even need to write real code to build an entire product? I know it doesn't make sense. See, AI is great at writing code, but do you know what's even better? Not having to code at all. You can now build fully functional SaaS platforms, automation tools, and even AI powered businesses without writing a single function. In fact, this is what Mark Zuckerberg had to say about this whole ordeal. I think we're going to live in a world where there are going to be hundreds of millions of billions of different AI agents, eventually probably more AI agents than there are people in the world. See, platforms like Zapier and NADN allow you to connect APIs, automate workflows, and even build backends without touching a single line of traditional code. It's all drag and drop tools. And people are making bank doing this. And they're even making bank posting about it. Take the Shopify store owners as an example. They pay thousands of dollars per month for automation services that literally copy paste data, track orders, or send emails automatically. Do you know it only only takes a few hours to build an automation bot using AI and no code tools. So the new skill set is about understanding automation, no code platforms and AI assisted development. Now, okay, coding is getting easier. Automation is getting easier. So what's the real skill you need? What's the real skill that's going to separate you from everyone else It's problem solving. You don't need to be the best coder. You need to be the person who can identify pain points and create automated solutions. Let me tell you a story. I once built a simple AI agent that helped freelancers generate contract proposals in seconds. How much code do you think I wrote? Almost none. I used a combination of GPT, a simple web form, and Zapier automations. And guess how much I made from it? I made almost $1,000 per month for a tool that took me only a week to build. And it lasted like seven months. That was a cool seven bands in cash. So what's your takeaway? Don't waste your time coding. Know what problems to automate, how to use AI, and how to turn automation into money. If you want a fast track and all this crazy space that's going on, I have mentored over 45 software engineers on how to build and sell AI and web agents. Some of these students have made more than their monthly nine to five income in three weeks of learning. They're building all sorts of cool stuff and securing crazy deals. And that's the beauty of creating automation tools and using these tools to build more automation tools. Now, if you want to join, click the first link in the description. And I will mentor you ASAP. So now that you know exactly what to do, everything about this entire space, what are some mistakes that you can avoid? Because people get this wrong all the time. So let's not fall into the same trap. One, thinking AI won't replace your job. If AI is coding better than junior developers, what do you think will happen next? Don't be the person who believes their job isn't affected by AI. At least, if not all jobs, junior level jobs are definitely at risk. The next thing, spending too long learning to code. You don't need to be a coding god. All right, there's people who have just learned coding like two weeks ago and are making SaaSes that are earning $5,000 a month. All you need to know is the basics and leave the rest to AI. Speed wins in 2025. And lastly, assuming you get a job just because you know how to code and have that degree is not true anymore. You see, CS grads are homeless. They're on the streets. They're struggling to find jobs and now prompt engineers. AI engineers are the ones actually getting hired because they have very in-demand skills, which is understanding AI. So do not ignore AI because if you do, you are cooked. Now, with all this being said, you can either keep grinding lead code for years and hope the market magically improves, or you can start learning how to build using AI and adapt to where the market is headed and where the money is actually flowing. Because let's be real, the future isn't about who can write the better code. It's about who can move the fastest and solve problems efficiently. So the question isn't, should I learn how to code? It's how I can use code to build the life that I want.